How are you guys? We're going to do a um, homemade discus mix at the moment. So currently we've got some prawns, some mullet, nice oily fish, some mussels, very fresh. Got some paprika, got some liquid calcium vitamin D with magnesium, good for them. Got a banana, some spinach, got a little bit of cucumber, beef heart over here, really lean, cut out all the sinew and fat when you get ready for that one. Uh, some shelled peas, got some uh, premium spirulina, a couple of algae wafers, these just hanging around, they're not a necessity but I can throw those in. Gonna put a tiny bit of rapashi in for the end there. So we'll come back as we go through and start mincing this as we go and then I'll show you how we bag them up and get them ready. Okay guys, got our fantastic little moulin. I had it for ages, haven't used it often, normally use a hand grinder. So she's a great little unit. Okay, guys, I forgot to say just in the ingredients, we use three garlic cloves also. So I do a couple of teaspoons of paprika. We've got some rapashi here, which is really good, super green. So I'm going to put a couple of teaspoons of that through. That'll actually help it bond a little bit too and it won't break up. Spirulina, some guys use the flakes, don't really uh, mind either way flake or not. I leave my mix quite um, coarse, I don't like it too, too fine. Got some vitamin D calcium sub. Now the fun part, getting your hands in to mix it all through. Smells almost good enough to eat. Now obviously these mixers are so many variations of recipes for them. This one's a fairly basic one I used to use on all my Americans ages ago. Just back into the discus now. They've got a um, shop bought beef heart mix at the moment which they really love so can't wait to get this into them and see how they go on that. Just mix it thoroughly. With the garlic cloves, I put those in the microwave just to uh, soften them out a little bit and they juice better. And in a minute, we'll start to bag this stuff out. This is uh, around enough mix. We've got eight fish at the moment. That'll probably last us, I would say, three to four months easily. So it's very cost effective. And if you haven't got a mincer, hand mincer you can use, or a lot of food blenders these days. I'm not absolutely keen on food blenders because they absolutely um, macerate the food so it goes down really fine. So I prefer to use it in the, uh, the mincer. I can run it through a couple of times, still leave it coarse enough for them to pick at. Get a lot of people complaining about uh, a lot of pollution in the tank on a few of these recipes and I find if the food's really fine, that's when you start to get uh, a lot of pollution going through. Okay guys, enough of that boring stuff. We'll come back shortly and we'll start to bag this stuff. Okay, I have my handy little assistant here. So normally pop about two good spoons of this into a bag. Okay. Just zip it up a little bit. Leave a bit of air at the top of your bag. Now what Fisher doesn't have a piece of PVC tubing lying around which makes a fantastic rolling pin. Better than your old grandmas or anything like that. I normally have it about probably three to five mil thick. Just squish out all your air.
I always write the date on them. If you're making a little bit, it's a little bit exciting. 10th of the 4th, 2017 at the moment, whilst you're watching this. Um, this mix, as I said, will make up probably about, well, let's say, 8 to 10 bags of these guys. And that'll last, you know, we've got eight fish that'll last us for ages and ages. Initial cost, I suppose, for all the stuff today was around $22. That's beef heart, the shrimp, all the bits and pieces, and some of the stuff you have lying around home. So, hope you enjoy the video. If there's any questions, throw me some messages, and uh, we'll talk to you all later. Okay, guys, we've got the uh, end result of our homemade beef heart. So, it's a great little recipe. If the boys and girls want to uh, start munching a bit. Taken with great gusto. It's a very cost effective mix. So a couple of beef parts and a few basic recipes. We made a video of the um, of how we made the mix, so you can have a look at that. Uh, the guys really enjoy it. Got a heap of cardinals in here too, so the smaller bits break off, cardinals munch on those, a few little peppermint catfish. The guys will eat it out of the hand, they'll munch away with it. The beef part prawns, mussels, delicious little mix. Any sauce. Try the little fellas in for a bit of a bite. Little Ica Heckle is our smallest fish, so we'll get him nice and uh, plump, get him up to some size. Tank is filtered with a 4x18x18 sump, so plenty of filtration, so all this will clear up in a matter of uh, minutes after we do this. Nice. Thanks for watching, guys.